Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Madeleine and today I'm going to be sharing three very simple but nutritious and really delicious meals that I've learned to make throughout the years. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd share it with you. Um, all three meals are Slimming World friendly and two of the meals are really great options for any nursing moms out there. Now I really wanted to do this video because of a number of reasons but mainly because I remember when I first started Slimming World, now for those that don't know, I gained four stones when I was pregnant. So I had loads of weight to lose and I tried several things, um, but Slimming World was one thing that really, really worked for me. Um, however, I did find it difficult at some stages and actually recently I was speaking to someone who told me that they were getting sick of the meals that they were eating and they felt like it was quite repetitive and honestly I've been there before so this is why I want to share it because since taking a break from Slimming World I've made a few dishes that I thought oh actually this is Slimming World friendly and yeah they're, they're so delicious and I think that everyone should try them right so the first dish that I want to share is a fruit salad now it's what I add to it that makes it really special so if you like cottage cheese and you like cinnamon this is gonna be for you. Like, I love this dish. And I feel like adding the cottage cheese and the cinnamon just elevates the whole dish. I used to always have natural yogurt with my fruit. And yeah, I just, I got sick of it because natural yogurt just reminds me of healthy eating. And sometimes I don't wanna eat healthily. You know, especially if I'm on a diet, I wanna be able to feel like I'm not dieting. And I really love adding cottage cheese as a substitute to natural yogurt because it's got this creaminess to it. The cinnamon adds another bit to it. And yeah, I'm going to show you how I make my uh, fruit salad with cottage cheese and cinnamon. So let's get into it. Oh, before I actually start, I am going to say that I will timestamp all the three meals down below. So if you don't want to listen to me babbling on, you can go straight to how I make the dish. And yeah, thought I'd let you know. Okay, let's get into it. So in my fruit salad, I like to add a banana, an apple, blueberries and strawberries. And of course, cottage cheese, which needs to be fat free if you're on Slimming World. And some cinnamon. So I start off by slicing all my fruit. I add my banana into a dish, then the apples, strawberries and my blueberries. And once all my fruit are chopped up and in a dish, I then like to add my cottage cheese. You can add as much as you want. I added three spoonfuls of cottage cheese. Once my cottage cheese is in my dish, I then add some cinnamon. Once again, you can add as much as you want. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's super easy to make and it's so delicious. So I really recommend that you try it out. So that's how I like to make my fruit salad with the cottage cheese and cinnamon of course. I absolutely love this dish because it's super easy to make. You can easily smash your five a day. And a few times I have actually made this for the next day. So I like to have it for snack at work or sometimes I'll have it for breakfast. It's very filling. So yeah, you're able to last a lot longer without eating. If you're on the SP plan on Slimming World, so that's um speed and just protein then you can take the banana out and just focus on adding fruit um speed fruit in there and i've added all sorts in there like mangoes i've added kiwi i've added figs i've added pomegranate anything that i've got in the house that i need to use up i'll just throw it in there but yeah like i said my favorite four fruits for this dish is bananas apples strawberries and blueberries they all add something to the dish and make the dish something pretty special now the next meal that i want to make is once again it's a traditional meal you will most have likely had it but it's what i add to it that really once again elevates the dish and makes it so good like i love this dish uh quick to make super nutritious you can make it the day before for the next day or for the next two days um so yeah by the way have i said what it is I don't think I have. So this is a tuna salad. And like I said, I add certain things into it that just elevates the dish. It just makes it so good. 
and you may be on Slimming World and you may be like, I've had enough of eating tuna salad. What can I do to add to it just to spice it up and make me feel like I'm eating something different? And this is your answer. I'm going to show you. So let's get into it. Okay, so to make the tuna pasta salad, you will need a container, a quarter of a cucumber, some plum tomatoes, spinach, spring onions, half a cup of pasta, tuna, lemon, black pepper, chili flakes, um, pink salt or any salt really, cumin, and I also use mayonnaise, which is the lighter than light mayonnaise. Um, and yeah, you wanna start off by boiling your pasta, and then while that's boiling, you wanna wash all your vegetables, make sure it's all nice and clean. I then like to dry my spinach, um, once the spinach is nice and dry, I then transfer that into my container. You will see why later I use a container. Um, I then make a start on just slicing up all the vegetables. So I'll slice up my spring onions, my cucumber. Um, I like to leave my plum tomatoes whole. Um, so once all your vegetables are diced up, I then wash the pasta in cold water. So once the pasta is fully cooked and washed and it's cold, I then transfer the pasta into the container of spinach. Um, and then I just make a start on adding all the vegetables in there. Now I use half a tin of tuna. So I'm gonna transfer the tuna into the dish and make sure it's spread it out evenly. I then eyeball the mayonnaise and yeah, just spread it across. And then I add my chili flakes, cumin, uh, black pepper and salt. I then squeeze some lemon juice. This is such a crucial step, so please don't leave it out. It really helps to bring the dish together. And once that's done, your dish should look like this. Um, I then close the lid and give it a good shake. Um, I just find that it's easy to mix everything this way. So once everything's mixed well, I then transfer it into a dish. So the end product will look like this. Honestly, it tastes just as good as it looks. So yeah, another dish that I really recommend you try now. So that's how you make my tuna salad. Honestly, adding cumin and chili flakes and black pepper and the lemon just makes it into a completely different dish. Of course, if you're nursing, you may want to omit the chili flakes and, the, and maybe reduce the black pepper. Um, but yeah, you can add whatever veggies you have in your fridge, just chuck it in there and you can see for yourself why it's so nutritious. Like most of that dish is filled with like healthy vegetables and whatever you do, don't forget to add the lemon. You have to squeeze lemon in it because it just did something to the dish that makes it amazing and without it, it lacks something and it's the lemon juice. Like honestly, lemon juice is amazing. So definitely include the lemon juice. And let's move on to the next dish, which I keep looking at because I'm so hungry and I just want to eat it. So the next dish is this chickpea curry. So I've just made this, I made this today in fact, and it is so good. This dish, I will say, tastes so much better the next day. So on a Sunday, I like to make this and batch cook it for the next three days. And honestly, like I said, the next day it smells so not smells, it tastes so good. Now I wanna bring your attention to this pack. So I picked this up from Tesco. I believe it was one pound, maybe one pound 50. I think I might have got it on offer for like 75 pence. But I got it from Tesco and it's amazing. It basically has the right blend of spices to make your chickpea curry. So if you're not confident with spices and you don't know which spices complement each other or you don't know how much of each spice to put in so that one spice doesn't dominate over another. This is your answer. Everything's perfectly blended in. Now, um, at the back you have a recipe with all the ingredients that you need. Now I have adapted this a little bit just to make it more Slimming World friendly. So for, for the oil, I use a spray oil. Um, I added um, spinach to it. I also add prawns because I want to boost up the protein. Um, I will say, that this is really spicy. So for anyone nursing, I would recommend that maybe you mix in some natural yogurt. 
I would also recommend that you use one teaspoon of this instead of one tablespoon that should reduce the heat and also I've noticed that the next day it's not as spicy as it is the first day for some reason like it cools down loads the next day so bear that in mind um so yeah let's get into it so to make this dish you're going to need two cans of chickpeas two onions four tomatoes any oil spray one cup of rice two tablespoons of the chana masala mix you're also going to need 170 grams of frozen prawns one teaspoon of um, ginger paste one frozen garlic cube one lemon and some spinach so i start off by making the rice and the way i like to make my rice is by putting in the cup of rice into the pan and then add a teaspoon of salt and then pour hot water um, that goes above the rice by an inch i then wait until it bubbles up um, I give it a final stir, place a lid on, turn the heat really low and then leave it for 20 minutes to cook. I then heat another pan and add a few sprays of oil. I then dice my onions into large chunks um, just because I'm going to blend it all later on so it's, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I add that to the pan and let it sit for about 5 minutes until it's golden brown. So once the onions are nice and soft and they are this colour, I then go in with the four chopped tomatoes and I let the tomatoes cook with the onions for another four minutes I would say. While the um, tomatoes are cooking, I also drain the chickpeas and make sure they are washed properly. So once the onions and the tomatoes look like this, once you can see the skin peeling off the tomatoes, I then like to transfer it into a blender and just blitz everything into a smooth paste. So while the tomatoes and onions are being blended, I then like to add the chana masala into the pan and just let it um, dry fry. I also like to add my teaspoon of ginger paste in here and my one garlic uh, frozen cube, um, give it a good mix. And then once the onions and tomatoes are blended very well, I then add it into the pan and give it all a good mix. So once I can see that the frozen garlic cube has melted, I go in with the chickpeas and make sure they're all in there and mixed well. I also add a teaspoon of salt at this point and I squeeze in some lemon juice. And then I just let it sit and cook for 15 minutes. At this point, my timer for the rice is up. So I remove the pan from the heat and I just give it all a good fluffing um, so that the rice is not stuck together and then I just pop the lid on and then just leave the rice to one side just to sit. So once the chickpeas have had a chance to cook I go in with the frozen prawns and add that in and give it a good mix. I like to leave it for about five to seven minutes until the prawns have cooked. I mean they are already cooked they just need to heat up really. Um, I have noticed that the longer you cook this dish for the tastier it is so give it some time um, I would just leave it on low heat and then just let it cook for as long as you can just to let those flavours develop. So once your curry is ready and made I like to make a bed of spinach then layer it up with the white rice and then I like to spoon in my chickpea and prawn curry and that's it honestly guys it tastes amazing it's like my favourite dish and it even tastes better the next day um, so perfect for batch cooking and yeah definitely try it out if you do remember to tag me i would love to see what you think of it and what your product ends up looking like so yeah that's dish number three oh by the way you will notice that i love adding spinach to my meals because of the benefits that spinach has like research it is amazing it's like a never-ending list of benefits it's good for your eyes it boosts up your immune system especially during these times we want to keep our immune system up and running well as well as it can what else does it do it's just got tons of like minerals and vitamins and you know, chickpea is equally as good that like chickpea prevents certain chronic diseases but there mm. anyway Chickpeas are really good for keeping your appetite under control, aids with digestion. There are tons of benefits for chickpeas. So this is a super nutritious meal. 
that yeah I, I think everyone should eat and that's pretty much it for today um, if you've enjoyed this video let me know I've never really done a video um, a cooking video before if you've enjoyed it I will make some more videos just let me know down below in the comment um, but and yeah please give me a thumbs up I would really appreciate the support and I think that's all for today so um, yeah stay safe and I will see you all soon bye